We're wide open. 35 laps around here. No yellow flags. Survive the chaos and potentially have a shot at a good finish. Subscribe to new to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's almost go time from Atlanta. Strap the TV down. Buckle up. Because what we're in for here today is going to be mad chaos. So Pacecar is headed to pit road. This is it, boys. How hard do we want to go on lap number one? Or do we want to hang in the back? Already nearly three wide ahead of me. The green flag is out. What are we going to have going into turn number one and two? So far, so good. We are safe. We're going to have to manage our tires because we are going 35 laps. Almost contact ahead. But what we are seeing right now is very clean racing. I doubt it's going to stay that way as we get up to speed. These cars are going to take about a lap and a half to really get up to speed. But here we go, boys. Down the back straight away. They're getting the outside to come in. The outside might be a good place to go. Save your tires. I really just want to hang on to the draft pack. Be smart and wait for the first crash to get out of the way. Here we go. Big momentum in turn number one and two. This is going to hole down the back straight away. Do we want to pull high? Potentially go up there and start trying to make some passes. Everyone's trying to roll over to the top groove, it appears. But here we go. Stuck in behind the number four. I'm going to go down to the bottom and get that position underneath him. Going for position number 19. Let's try to snag a couple more, man. We're going to go around the number 10 car as well. Got the two for one deal. And they're almost three wide up there for the lead. And they're wrecking up there for the lead, boys. We're going to have a backer down and be smart. Oh, man. They are stacking them in, boys. Hold your breath. Oh, we're not done. But I believe we are going to to avoid it. Hopefully we don't get rear-ended anywhere. I choose one. Wrecking in one, wrecking in one. Sorry, I didn't see you coming up there. It does not matter what I do, I always get caught up in this we're going to live to see another day, but now we got a small pack up front. Carl in the apron with a lot of damage. So we gained a couple spots there. I don't think we really lost anything. Everyone is very smart with checking up, fortunately. But now the lead pack is so far ahead. I just don't know if we're going to be able to run them down. They're three wide ahead of me. What is this going to be into turn number one and two? Are they going to even out? We're running in position number 14. Now they can wreck up there inside the top 10. And that could be a big advantage. Guy behind me is in kill mode. You can have that position, bro. Whoa, very sideways. Is he going to hold it? Man, I am so surprised by how crazy the racing is getting around here. And nobody's really using their head right now. Everyone's being wild. I'm on edge every corner. Top or bottom, where do you want to go? Bro, they are checking up so bad in front of me. Everyone in this back is going to need to work together, man. We can't be in kill mode. This guy in front of me is being way too aggressive, taking him three wide. He's going to hurt somebody. I'm going to try to get around him on the outside because, man, he's just driving silly right now. There's nowhere you could really go here. I mean, even if you get to the front of this pack, it's not going to do very much. You got to use your head. And we might need a miracle if we want to catch that lead pack. But I'm going to do everything I possibly can. Try to be smart here, work with everyone, and see if we can run them down. I can't really see the gap. But we definitely have more cars back here than are up front. And it appears we are running them down, man. We are catching the lead back. Oh, smoke down pit road. Does somebody get taken out up there, man? Here we go, bottom group. That 10 is going to hurt somebody, man. What is he doing? That was so dumb. That may have been the dumbest move I have ever seen at Atlanta Speedway. That was so silly, man. I don't know why he did that. One, that's out of bounds. You're not supposed to go down there regardless. And he just sends it down there on the apron. He's not done. He's going to hurt somebody else up there. And he may have just did. Just wrecked the entire field up there. We're going to avoid it. Beep, beep. That's one way to pass a bunch of cars. Did I find you on the inside? Yeah, he had a fun time and he got wrecked. Now this guy's back bumper is very smart. Very, very smart. Do not push. This guy does not want a bump drafter on his bumper. I respect that, man. Straight off the get-go. Very honest there. Do not push me. 
I'm not going to, man. I'm going to hang on your back bumper, but I'm not going to give you a shot. He's going to go high here as the momentum on the 13 is unfortunately killed right now. He has a little bit of damage. I'm going to try to get around that number 13 car as well. Good run behind the number six. We're so far back from the leaders. Trying to clear this number 13 if I can. It's not bad to be on the outside. We don't necessarily got to be single file. But as long as we aren't wrecking each other and killing each other and cutting it three wide, I believe we're going to run them down, boys. I really do. I believe we're going to run them down. Big momentum. I think we might overtake the bottom group going into turn number one and two. And indeed, we are. I might want to keep it up here on this outside groove. Unfortunately, we are losing time to the seventh position. They're still pulling away up there. You guys are still fighting to my inside. The guy behind me is still glued to my back bumper, man. Everything's looking smooth. Everything is very calm. Everything is very chill back here. This car is going to get a big momentum shot down the front straightaway. Potentially, he might clear me going in to turn number one and two. I'm still liking the outside. Put me down to position number nine, though, as the six car is going to go by. He has the number 23 Applack car behind him, pushing him. My help has kind of bailed out here. Officially, 15 to go at the line. Just riding it out, man. Just like Daytona, just like Talladega, just riding it out. When we get the white flag, all bets are off for that lead pack, man. We're gonna clear the six. I might go down to the bottom, just see if we gain any more speed down there. I doubt we're going to, but I figured, hey, let's go ahead and try it, see what we can do. Smoke ahead. Was that anyone on the lead lap? It does look like the six car is gonna try to take me on the outside. Smart move by him, as I have now moved down to the bottom. I feel like I probably need to be up high right now. But I'm going to keep digging down here, man. Keep digging. I'm trying to do whatever I can do to really gain a couple positions here. It's really hard to hold it wide open with the six car pinning me down, man. But I'm trying. I might need to move back up to the top. I just don't feel like this bottom groove is going to hold up as we continue. The outside is just so fast right now. We might lose a couple positions and potentially may even fall outside of the top 10 really dove it in hard that time by on the apron just trying to make it rotate didn't quite stick and we're gonna lose a lot of momentum right here guy behind me is all over my back bumper let's we'll send it in deep once again i feel like i gotta start cracking the throttle just to get the runoff that i need with him pinning me down once again we still got a bumper over and it's gonna be six laps to go at the lineup from atlanta very small pack back here but we're surviving, we're fighting, we're going to continue. Five to go with the line this time by when we make it back around. Look at the lap traffic ahead. Where are they going to go, top or bottom? Oh, man. I mean, I hope they pull over to the apron. I just don't know how likely that's going to be. We're going to clear the number six car. Potentially, I might need to pull up high right here. I just don't know if that's going to work. He's going to try to squeeze me right there, but we're going to tuck in right in front of that number six. Just barely, man. I don't know where the lap traffic is going to go with five laps remaining. I'm going to try to run the outside. Lap cars are running the bottom. This is going to give a good draft to that number six car. Four to go with the line. The lap cars are going to screw me over here if they don't get out of the way. I really don't want to cut them three wide. But I just don't think they're going to pull over to the apron, man. I do not believe they're going to pull over to the apron. He almost got the wall there in front of me. We're going to have to tuck down to the bottom. I go around that lapper. And now behind the number six who are running in position number nine, almost three wide behind me. And he's going to try to take me on the outside. Next time by is going to be three laps remaining. I think we're going to get back around the number four. His momentum seems to be killed, but still so much lap traffic ahead as we're battling for the eighth position. But in my eyes, we're battling for a top five position, knowing that they're going to wreck on the final lap. Okay, laps go top or bottom. What is he going to choose? Going into turn number one and two, the six car is running the bottom groove. Man, the tires are really beginning to fade right now. It's hard to run the top. I might want to move down to the bottom. Only two laps to go. Okay, lap score. Where are you going to go? Top or bottom? Lap score is going high. We're going to tuck in right behind that number six score. Run the bottom groove through turn number three and four. Man, these tires are going away. We do not have the grip that we once had. That six score is all the way down underneath the white line there. But he is going to get around the number 10. Hopefully we can get around the 10. The 10 was dangerous early on, man. Hopefully he didn't come back to finish the field. We're going to get around him, and we're going to get around the number 15. These are not for position, but we're coming to the white flag this time by. And we got so many lap scores in this pack racing for nothing, which is really unfortunate. Hopefully they don't take us out. 
I'm just gonna try to ride behind this number six. We're gonna clear the 15. There we go. Now me and the six can race this position out. I feel like I need to be on the outside here. White flag from Atlanta. You know they're gonna wreck on the final lap. The six is giving me the outside if I want it. I think we gotta send it in deep and hope for the best, boys. Big crash by me. Oh my gosh, that was a fatality. Can't believe that one, man. He got hooked. Or the leader is going to make it back around. Here we come to the outside for the eighth position. He's going to try to run me high here. We're going to hold it wide open to see what position we bring this baby home off turn number three and four. Is it going to be the race for position number eight? Did they wreck coming to the start finish line at the line? He may get me. I don't know. At the line, we're going to hold on to position number eight. But did we gain anything officially? Position number eight from Atlanta. This may be the most dangerous man on iRacing. Take a look at this. Underneath the yellow line, three wide, three wide, three wide, illegal pass, illegal pass, illegal pass. Caused a bit of a wreck there by cutting on three wide. And hey, he wasn't done there. He sent that thing into turn number three and four and took out a few more competitors before eliminating himself. There's nowhere for him to take it right here. But he sends it in deep to the back bumper of that number 13. Guy behind him actually got to his back bumper and turned him. Wow, I thought he caused that. No, the number 10 actually got dumped by the guy behind him. I don't know what they were thinking, man. I really don't know what they were thinking. Going back a couple laps before that, this was the leader. Illegal pass was inside, and he gets punted. The leader goes around in turn number one and two, and this was the big one of the race. We had a car airborne. The track is blocked. Looking out up front on the final lap, it was a three-wide photo finish. The two cars lead in. Look out. Here comes the number three. Everyone of illegal passes right there in the two car. Got it done. Jeez, I wish I racing would do something about that yellow line rule. When NASCAR comes here, it's completely illegal to go down there. Christopher Bell actually got black flagged in the spring race for passing down there. But it is what it is, man. I'd like to thank my Patreon members for supporting the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.